What's up YouTube? This is Power Surge. I wanted to make a video for y'all today about thieves. Yes, that's people that want to rob you, want to take your stuff. Anytime you acquire wealth or you're working hard, you're saving, let's say you get fortunate on an investment or some winnings, you're going to have the risk of people trying to steal from you, trying to take advantage and they're going to be jealous, maybe envious of you because they didn't win or their life isn't going perfectly or they're lazy and they don't want to work hard. But whatever the reason is they will try to steal from you so let's talk about thieves and how you can prevent your shit getting stolen so first let's talk about what turns someone into a thief so there are three main things that will turn someone into a thief one of the things that will turn an honest person crooked is drugs and addiction so if someone in your circle is become addicted to hard drugs meth cocaine heroin that can cause them to become shifty and do sketchy behavior including stealing from their parents their friends friends, people they normally wouldn't steal from, but in order to feed an addiction, they become thieves. Number two, jealousy and envy. Their envy that you got a brand new thing and they didn't. Or their envy that you won at the slot machine and they didn't. Or they're just envious that you have had a great job and you have a great house because you work so hard. They're just jealous of your lifestyle. Whatever the reason they're jealous, they're just envious, jealous people. If you flaunt your wealth a lot, you're going to get envy from people. That's a natural consequence of you getting wealthy. Some people around you, instead of being happy for you, are going to become bitter and wishing that they were the ones who were being fortunate instead of you. And that may lead them to stealing from you. The third thing is just sheer anti-socialism. There are some people out there that are just thieves at nature. There have been experiments where they put little kids in a room with candy and the kids are told don't take the candy and then they're left alone in the room with the bowl of candy and most of the time these kids who don't know they're being filmed they take the candy and then when they come back they lie about it. Some people just are those kids that are gonna take the candy. They don't care about others. Generally they've been hurt in life themselves so they don't mind hurting other people. Those are the kind of people that will steal from you too and those are the hardest to spot sometimes but they're just antisocial, crooked people that justify to themselves when they steal from others. So those are the three types of people that steal. Now let's talk about how you can prevent people from stealing from you. Number one, obviously keep your valuables out of sight and away from aforementioned people. Keep your stuff locked away. Don't even talk about valuables around people that may be envious of you, that you may think are antisocial and just like to steal. Definitely don't talk about valuables around people who have addiction problems. Number two, get a safe. You can get a safe for one to two hundred dollars. It's just a lockbox. It's going to be solid. It's fireproof. You can bolt it into a shelf or you can bolt it into the ground if you have that kind of home. Or you can even hide it at a very trusted or family member's house so that if someone did think that you had valuables or come after you or even broke into your house, there's nothing for them to take. At least the bulk of your wealth is in that protected safe far away from your home. The third thing you can do to prevent stealing, if you can't afford a safe, this is a great alternative for small amounts of wealth. You can get those stash cans. They sell them at tobacco shops. It's like a little can that looks like a monster can or sometimes a shampoo bottle or some kind of cleaning products. Those cans twist out in the bottom or the top and they've secretly been disguised with a little jar inside. And with that jar, you can take a small amount of valuables like a couple pieces of jewelry or some cash and wrap that up in a rubber band and put it in there if you do want to have cash around and have it safe. That way no one's going to steal it because they're going to think it's a Coca-Cola can or it's a monster can or like an old water bottle. So those stash cans, as I like to call them, are really cheap, maybe 20 to $30 at most smoke shops. And if you can fit a couple hundred dollars in there, that's your tip money or your hard-earned money, if you can hide it in that can and it prevents it from getting stolen because nobody knows that that can isn't a soda can, then that has definitely paid you back that 20 or 30 bucks that you bought the can for. So a stash can is a great alternative to a safe. It's just a great thing to have anyway as a backup or a secondary place to stash important or valuable small things. Number four, be extra careful when you have guests over and especially when you have parties and especially when the guests at your house are not your friends or not familiar people. If you don't really know them then you can't trust them fully with your valuable stuff. 
So you want to make sure before people come over to put anything that you think would get stolen away. Make sure that things are out of sight and tucked away, maybe locked away, or even put in a closet that can be broken or stolen. I had a party early in college where about 20 to 30 people came to my house. I maybe had a dozen people in my room. We were all drinking, having a good time. People were going in and out of the room, and I remember the next morning checking my my sock drawer where I had stashed about $450 of my band's money. When I was playing in a band, we had sold CDs and collected money for different things and that wad of cash was in the drawer and it was missing. Someone from the party had taken that money and it really broke my heart. I paid the band the rest of the money, but it was a very special $450 to me that got stolen. So I can really emphasize Put your money in an extra safe place when you're gonna have a party. Be really careful because that's when people are more likely to steal stuff. Number five, common sense. Just check all your locks on your windows and doors. Make sure you put a little bolt on the window sills if those can be pushed or slided open so that people can't break into your house, people can't break into your car. I get a little paranoid, people make fun of me sometimes because I click the button on my car a lot. I just wanna make sure it helps give me peace of mind that I haven't been robbed. I click the car or just go back one more time, make sure my doors and my things are locked. So it's important to lock your stuff up before you leave. That should be common sense, but sometimes common sense isn't so common. Also, hide your schedule of when you're home and not home. It doesn't have to be everyone's public information, Facebook or whatever, if you're at the gym or you check into your work or you check into the airport because you're going to be out of town for a few weeks. Hide when you're going to be gone. That way people aren't going to know your house is just a sitting duck waiting for someone to break in. You're not going to be home for weeks or for hours if you're at work and they're going to have this opportunity to break in because you're going to be gone. So don't blatantly advertise when you're going to be gone. That's it guys. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Please be careful with your stuff. Please hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this. Leave a comment. Tell me if you've ever had anything stolen. And as always, have a wonderful day.